Hey, what's up everyone? It's a Tuesday afternoon here in Boston. November 29th, 2022. Time right now is 4.10 p.m. It's 42 Fahrenheit, six degrees Celsius. I'm looking now at the flagship Macy's store here in the busiest part of Boston at Downtown Crossing. If you could all do me a favor and help share this live stream, I don't think a notification went out since uh, I've been posting way too many videos. I don't think YouTube pushes out more than a few notifications a day. But today I want to head over to the seaport area and check out the holiday decorations around there. I've been by the Macy's store already and this is my first time coming at nighttime. To see it all lit up like this is really astonishing. DC332, you went there five years ago, you love it. I'm glad you do, you should uh, come visit again. like all the decorations that are all around downtown. Susan Boatman, you love Macy's, you love my video with my brother. Thank you. You'll be seeing him some more. I haven't done a nighttime walk in Boston yet. I plan to do one in the future to showcase all the nighttime decorations with all these lights on. What's kind of cool is at the entrance to Downtown Crossing, they have all these lighted stars up. I'm just a girl saying Boston is cooler than I thought. It's a really cool city. I didn't think I'd be able to see this much holiday spirit in Boston, but here it is. I've been uh, traveling around Boston for a good amount of the day already. I can't begin to tell you how many videos I've been recording. Taco Bell even has a Christmas tree. That's nice. Shelly and Anthony didn't get a notification either. Yeah, I figured that might be the case because I posted a video last night, one this morning and another one this afternoon. YouTube doesn't want to push too many notifications out because they don't want to spam people, but 
it is what it is. I'm posting more videos than YouTube can handle. I'm sure all of you watching can handle it though. Vlad saying Boston looks to be a pretty clean city. It's really clean. They really take good care of the streets around here. But even though it's not, this uh, live stream didn't have a notification. If I'm live long enough, people will eventually figure out I'm online. Andrew's saying, is Boston public transportation cleaner than New York City? It's cleaner too. I made another video where I took public transportation today. Boston South Station, right over there where my camera is pointing. Texas Tickler, I did go to the Beacon Hill area earlier today. It's beautiful there. can head inside the uh, south station of Boston. Then maybe we can take a walk through Chinatown before I head over across the bridge into Seaport. So, so Bob, you've never been to Boston, but you would like to visit one day? You sure should. There's a lot to see in this city. I heard about that, Angela. William and Kate will be there tomorrow. It will be their first overseas trip since they got married. And they're starting it here in Boston. I don't know what that'll mean for all the traffic around Boston. Will be very interesting to see. Boston South Station building, very historic the terminus of the Amtrak Northeast Regional Trains. Washington DC is the other terminal. And it's very much under construction. Andrew asked if I could do the Boston accent. I mean, I could try to imitate, I can only do a good of a job as I know. The running joke is, oh, Pocky Khan, Harvard Yard. There's a lot of like AU sounds in the Bostonian accents. But I went by Harvard today. No, you cannot park a car in Harvard Yard. There's uh, a lot of green space there. There's no parking lot. It's part of the college campus.
I wonder if they decorated the South Station for the holidays. The main concourse, we'll find out. very busy right now since it's rush hour. People are taking their trains to wherever they need to go. Jim Ron with 50 SCK. Always nice to see you out there, AK. Appreciate it. Thank you, Jim Ron. Appreciate the support. Thank you very much. about the description, I'll update it right now. Should be fixed. Looks like they didn't decorate much here. The Mighty Bull with five bucks towards new shoes. Thanks, Mighty Bull. Appreciate the support. This is Boston's busiest train station. I kind of remember this area, it was all outdoors, and now they have a covering and a building on top of it. All these trains are the Boston commuter rail. See here, track two. It's departing right now. This is the first stop and then it'll go to Back Bay and it'll eventually make its way to Framingham. Four twenty-five train. They got two minutes to get the train. Six with five bucks. Thank you, AK, for bringing videos of Boston. Brings back childhood memories as I am a West Coast transplant. Thank you, Six. Appreciate the support. Thank you very much. I'm glad I could bring you back videos from your childhood here in Boston. One of the things I hate about taking commuter rails is that they're very on time and the headways between trains is infrequent. If you miss the train, you have to wait like half an hour to an hour sometimes for the next one. Subways are usually a little bit more forgiving. Now these people realize, oh, two minutes left, one minute left to board. Twenty first century saying big investment in trains for Boston. Yeah, they're doing a lot of investment in the uh, public transit here. I see it. They're expanding the green line. They've got new cars for the orange line. Also the South Station's getting an overhaul. And I think eventually they want to connect South Station to North Station. That's your point. That's one of the uh, common complaints, including mine how the South Station and the North Station aren't connected to each other. 
It used to be. Andrew is saying he used to walk around Boston like this. Well, now you get to see me walking through it. So right now, in order to get from South Station to North Station, you need to transfer to the red line, take it to Downtown Crossing, where I started this live stream from, and then change to the orange line, and then take that to North Station an extra two trains just to get there. Oh, Andrew, you lived down the street from there in the north end for about three years, then moved to East Boston where the airport is. You're right near a great restaurant. Yeah, I haven't made it over to East Boston yet. I'd like to see it sometime. see here I wanted to walk back here because you can see the extent of all this construction at the South Station. Scarecrow 1223 saying it's the silver line. Yes. There's five different versions of the silver line. Or is it four? I forget. But it's actually a bus. It was supposed to be a rail line, but they ran out of money to make it a rail line. So they just said, oh, we'll just turn it into a bus and call it the Silver Line. Many of the residents refer to it as the Silver Lie because they were promised a bus. But as you can see, that didn't happen. Laurie's saying, are you taking us to see the seaport districts? I sure am. I like to walk through um, Chinatown first, which is over here. It's very close to the South Station. And then I'll wrap around again and walk over the bridge to um, the Seaport District. Supposedly there's a really nice winter market there. I like to check it out. Reverend Tacos, would you mind taking us to the Cheers Bar? I thought someone on the chat said it was closed last time. But I was near there today. I didn't really check it out. South Street. Once I walk over a few more blocks, we should be able to see the Chinatown Gate. That's very pretty at nighttime.
You can tell this used to be a very industrial area. Nice little coffee shop. Here we have Beach Street, which is the beginning of Chinatown, another few blocks. Just Sportsnet saying Chinatown has an amazing bakery. In fact, I even put up a review on Action Kit Extra of the Taiwan Bakery in Chinatown. And there's the gate. You can see it. Not looking forward across the street though. Boston uh, trolley tour. Oh, six says I passed by Hala Moon. It's a good dim sum spot. Thanks for the recommendation. Donna Gaffney says you're all over the place these days. So you've noticed. This is incredible just to see artwork like this on the side of this stone uh, structure. And then you have the Chinatown Gate. Two lions in the front. And a plaque. I think this Chinatown gate was uh, donated or helped fund or was funded by Taipei. It says Boston Taipei Sister City since 1996. Uh, SD Chung, let's not go there because it's just going to draw a lot of controversy. I'll just say that there is a China, it just depends which one. And that's how it is in this current climate right now. Xing Pastry. I tried this place. It's great too. Pay 
Hang Kaj saying beautiful pictures. Thank you very much. Yeah, Sea Burger, there's a lot of things happening around the world, not just in China, that's very depressing. It's part of the reason why I do these videos, because there's a lot of uh, stuff around the world that's very depressing to look at. Some of it is politically motivated. And I don't like seeing that kind of stuff. Let's walk down here. It seems very lively. I wish I would have done more like food reviews the last time I was in Boston. I tried this place too. Waku Waku when it's really good. Windsor Dim Sum Cafe. Tiger Sugar Chinatown. Japanese hot pot, that's interesting. And here's the Jade Garden restaurant. I've eaten here too. Really good spot. Let's walk through here. The last time I came here, I remember seeing these murals as well. They have not been updated. They're the same artwork but it's still fun to look at. Twenty-first century saying we need more good news. Thanks to Action Kit and all the YouTubers showing the other side of life, exploration and travel experiences around the world. Thank you very much. Sea burger, is it pronounced Boston or Basson? Depends who you ask. However way you pronounce it, it's fine with me. Just like sometimes I really mess up luxury brand names. Hong Kong eatery across the street. Top bread. There's several places I think are new since the last time I came. Natisha asked me if I drove. I didn't drive. I was driven. So over here, 
I think changed since the last time I was here. It used to be like a food court kind of place. And now it looks like a, it's like a psychic office on the first floor. Oh wait, it is still a I'm food court. Safe, but I'm doing the work myself. Yeah, it says food court there. And then over here you have uh, palm and tarot card readings. This is new since the last time. I'll show you a spot that uh, closed up that was beloved by many, right here. The Gourmet Dumpling House. This place was in Chinatown for a very long time, had a lot of great reviews on Yelp and Google, and there will be lines out the door for this restaurant. But I believe they closed up uh, last year, or well, maybe this year sometime. Never had an opportunity to try it. But it's been vacant ever since. And here's Taiwan Bakery. The place I reviewed on my second channel, Action Kit Extra. I got a black sesame bun here, as well as the uh, minced meat bun. And there's a few people inside who think the food is pretty good too. Unless they never had it before and they're trying it for the first time. But let's uh, head over to the Seaport District now. It'll be my first time exploring it in detail for the holiday season. We're going to be passing by the Chinatown Gate again. I think what I should do is maybe walk over here until I get to the South Station again and then make a right. Thanks, Lena, for sharing the link to my Action Kit Extra review of Taiwan Bakery. Uh, usernames for fun, I appreciate if you do not type that kind of stuff in the chat room. We can go on and on about political stuff and discuss about who's bad and good and whatnot, but it's just going to cause a lot of controversy and this isn't the channel for that. I have, I have my own opinions too. There's a lot of things that are more than what they seem. If 
501 bus to Copley Square. Boston's uh, bus system is very extensive. I think we should start crossing the street now because it doesn't look like that to cross the street up there will be any better. Oh good, we got a walk signal. And then Wow, the walk signal already starts counting down. Uh, Reverend Taku's Entertainment. Yes, the city has multiple Christmas trees throughout the city. Most notably, the one in Boston Common is the most well known. That one's donated to Boston from Nova Scotia, Canada. And they do it because it's a goodwill gesture for Boston's assistance during an uh, incident, I think in the early 1800s. Boston was one of the first responders to help Nova Scotia uh, get supplies and food there. So as a goodwill gesture, they've been donating a tree ever since like the 1960s, every year. And it's televised too. They have a huge like celebration when they find the tree, cut it down, and then start preparing it for shipping to Boston. It's a big deal. And even though uh, it's paid for completely by Nova Scotia, they believe that it's a good return on investment because it really shows, you know, that Nova Scotia cares about Boston still. It promotes tourism and people to go to Nova Scotia too. Kind of the same thing I do with uh, my Action Kit Extra food reviews too. If you like the food there, then you may consider going there someday and supporting the places that I review or try on the Action Kit Extra channel. And even on this channel too, even though I don't really do cover food on this channel, the different cities and places I walk through, although many people would agree to disagree about which city is the best and yada yada yada, some people are going to like it, some people are not. And you may want to visit a city because of it has something better than some other city I visit doesn't. So we're going to cross over here, Essex Street, and walk past the front of South Station. Oh, T-Cash, it was a massive explosion in Halifax, Nova Scotia, 1917. Thousands of dead. Unbelievable. 1917 that happened. It wasn't in the 1800s, as I thought.
So Summer Street is right in front of me. I'm going to make a right here and walk across to the seaport. Oh really, Nova Coast, the explosion was because of World War I. I didn't get that far, but it's good to know. Look at this, it's like a never-ending stream of people going into South Station. This is Boston during rush hour. I kind of have to move with the people. You're seeing that... There's no way I could just like cut in front of them and go across. All right, Summer Street. Right across this river is the South Boston Waterfront, otherwise known as the Seaport. It's the city's uh, most rapidly developing neighborhood. And uh, millions and millions of dollars have been put into like constructing new buildings there and revitalizing it. It used to be what the name implied, a Seaport. But the seaport fell out of disuse and now they're building condos there, restaurants, retail, and encouraging people to live there now. And pretty much all the waterfront properties have been bought up and developed. Now the developers are starting to build inland. Ambrose saying it sounds like Boston's Dumbo. Yeah, in a way, it does. That's generally what I see with the progression in cities. There'll be a district that'll lay abandoned or falls out of disuse, and then the city would say, why do we have all these abandoned buildings here? We can do something with it, and then progress happens. So those saying, what are those people waiting for? The buses? I'm not waiting for a bus, I'm walking across. I'm always asking if that's the Back Bay area. No, that's a little bit away from here. You're actually closer to the Back Bay where I started this video, in front of Macy's. All right, so this is the Summer Street Bridge across the body of water that will lead us into the Seaport District. That is all the seaport that you're seeing now. We've got a really beautiful view here. Robert says, I'm headed towards South Boston. That's right, South Boston Waterfront. I think I even see a Christmas tree over there. We should take a walk over. There's the Boston skyline behind us.
The water is so calm here. You're right, Charlene, there's a pyramid there. Mull said one thing he noticed about Massachusetts compared to Long Island is they do a better job at shoveling snow. Oh, when the snow comes, they're right on top of it. I remember doing a live stream here in Boston during the winter time. I arrived when there was a snowstorm and across the bridge, I counted maybe like 10 snow trucks going across in the span of like five minutes or something like that. It was absolutely amazing to watch, just an army of snow plows right on top of it. Laurie's saying, what is this body of river called? It's called the Fort Point Channel, according to Texas Tickler. Thanks, music with $5. Hope you're well. I plan on a trip to Boston, so thanks for your video. Two things. One, when are you coming to Pittsburgh? Two, when you turn 47, call yourself AK-47. Appreciate it, music. Thanks for the support. I'm glad you're going to take a trip out to Boston because of these videos. As for, what, as for when I'm arriving in Pittsburgh, you're going to have to stay subscribed to my channel and find out. I get requests to visit everywhere in the world. And there's the sign, welcome to South Boston. Lolita. Is this a bar? Oh wow, look at this. I think it is a bar. This is kind of interesting. They have a raised sidewalk for the bike lane. Let's cross. What? Oh, wait! It's the what guy again. We found him in Boston. He was on New York also. What? What? Not wait. What? 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 What's up, man? It's been a while since I heard you again. What? What? Summer. Rockside is under pass. Summer. Summer. Rockside is under Summer. It should be summer walk signs here to cross summer, not so walk signs here What? What? That's what I should have replied to him. What? What was that? I never knew it was so common for those pedestrian crosswalk uh, signals to malfunction like that. All of them say, what, what?
By the way, this area over here where I'm walking at is all preserved buildings, I think. It's called the Fort Point Historic District. So many of these buildings, I think uh, the city has like protections on them that they can't change the facades or knock them down. A lot of the seaport used to look like this, but, but um, as soon as I make a left and head towards the north waterfront, you're going to see it's changing a lot. Yeah, Laurie, it sounds like uh, the speakers might get blown out or something. Maybe it's weather related. Like it'll get wet maybe, I don't know. I don't know why um, those crosswalk signals malfunction like that. Wow, are we gonna get an opportunity to uh, turn left here anytime soon? This is a long block. much longer block than I thought. Wait, what a sec, wait a second. Now we're, we gotta go down some stairs. Huh. Interesting. Well, we're going down the stairs now. This will definitely head towards the waterfront. I don't think my gimbal likes me going down the stairs. It's kind of malfunctioning on me. I'll fix that once I get to the bottom. All right. Look at this. Isn't this pretty? Yo, one of my buddies is got his ticket late and he didn't get it with anyone. He's just going You see here, it says Boston's historic Fort Point neighborhood. Established in 1836. We have a few blocks to the north before we could uh, reach the waterfronts. Uh, oh, this is where we cross. You see here more construction happening in the South Boston area. Wait. Okay, you're good. Wait. Say the Institute of Contemporary Art is there as well. Beautiful building. Very cool.
Philly 3000 saying New York should take some lessons how to make a clean city. I mean, New York is a very challenging city to keep clean. It was built in a time when public alleys were afterthought and garbage disposal was pretty much dumping it into the waterways and polluting them. So it's kind of hard to rectify all that. It's a lot of interesting places here that I haven't seen before in South Boston. New trendy places popping up like over here, Bar Taco. Ben saying, would you say that driving in New York City or Boston is worse as a Boston resident? It's pretty bad here. Um, I've never really driven in Boston that much, but I've walked around and I would have to say New York City is a lot worse. Seems to be short-lived sometimes. I'm noticing my cell phone connection dipping a little bit. So if I start buffering, I may have to switch SIM cards. What's this across the street? Mecha, Nicha. It looks like a noodle restaurant. Mi Cha Noodle Bar. Slurping is encouraged. You know a place is trendy when it's in a stylized font like that and you don't know how to pronounce it. And now we're in the newest area of the seaport right here. Once you get to see all these like modern looking boxy buildings, the glass buildings. These are where the like million dollar condos are. And Trader Joe's. I'm smelling a lot of food from Shake Shack. You know what? I think I ate at the Shake Shack one of, on one of my visits to Boston. It's pretty clean. Egg rolls. All right, and here is the area I wanted to show. The South Boston Waterfront, Seaport. I am blown away right now. Kind of reminds me of Park Avenue in Manhattan with all these trees that are lit up. And the uh, holiday market is right across the street here. It's called the Snowport. We're definitely going to have to look at the snowport. Snowport neighborhood fun all winter. November 11th to December 31st. Close Thanksgiving Day, Christmas Day, and December 26th. 100 Seaport Boulevard. All right, let's see how this holiday market looks like. 
and if it has a uh, nice vendors food well this is really nice got some swings here that you could sit on relax I can even demonstrate it for you why not It'll be fun too. Let's put this down. Flip the camera around. Let's see, do I have a good angle here? Maybe this one. Take this off because I don't need my... Maybe I should use this one. Why not? Well, it's kind of more weight on the front here so you can't really rock it that much unless you're light I guess if you're if you don't weigh much you kind of just have to lay here and then you're like falling over already so it's not really implemented that well I'm already sliding off so not a good chair you just you kind of have to just put all your weight on your feet so you don't slide down just lay back like this I mean it works but I can see why they're not more popular. Lena's saying those are fun. Yeah, they are. I also had two pillows on mine too. I doubt an extra pillow of weight is gonna make a lot of difference, but it just tells you I gotta lose some weight. Maybe a hundred pounds will do, and then I could swing those. Where's the entrance to this thing? But wait, there's more. I didn't even see the beginning. It's, it's just the swing sets. It just looks like construction. Kind of fun how the Lot two videos saying Boston is boring. Sorry about that. Well, I hope the place where you are is more interesting. I love to visit your area. PTC. And we have the Price Waterhouse Cooper's office building. Flowing Happy with 10 bucks. Thank you so much, Flowing Happy. Appreciate the support. Thank you very much. Not a very well implemented bike lane. All right, this is the entrance to the seaport or the snow port, they call it. Oh, look at this tree. I know they're going to have a lighting ceremony for this. I just don't know when it is. I'm definitely making a dedicated video of just the seaport district here. And uh, I may have to do something about this internet connection to see if AT&T or T-Mobile works better because right now Verizon is dropping a little bit. But we'll see. Oh, I see. Holiday market snowport. 
Let's go in through there because there's a red uh, entrance. I'm always saying the Rockefeller lighting in the city is tomorrow. Yes. Rockefeller Center Christmas tree is being lit tomorrow, as well as the New York Stock Exchange tree. Whoa. What is this place? Mickey FC 499 to host a pint with Norm and Cliff. Thanks for sharing the sights and sounds of Boston AK. Appreciate it. Thank you, Mickey FC. Appreciate the support. Isn't this a sight to see? All right, I'm going to go out and say if there's a place in Boston you need to visit for the holidays, come here to the Boston ho um, <laughs> Snowport. Hey, how are you? It is Snowport. Also yeah. USA. Beat Iran, we're moving on to the group stage. Let's go, baby. Let's All go, right. USA! Let's go. <laughs> I don't know. I love it. I love wow. It. Tamara, thank you so much. Appreciate the support. Thank you. Well, I'm glad I'm showing this for the first time with all of you. Pizza and calzones. I think I'm going to have to invite my brother and, uh, and his wife here. <laughs> This is something I'd like to enjoy with them. Definitely. Drink, eat, and grab a seat. <laughs> Holiday market, naughty waffle. Bluefin. This reminds me a lot of the Bryant Park Winter Village in New York City. Yamaku Cafe. Penny Packers. The Frenchman's Crates. This is all like food options here. I haven't seen a like a local store. Meatballs available. Cheese Luis. Well, that's cool. Oh, here's all the retailers. Lucas, thank you for the five euro. Appreciate it, Lucas. Thanks for the support. It's so pretty here. This is definitely the destination to come when you're in Boston for the holidays. And I had no idea until I come, came here. I wasn't expecting much, but this market really surpassed all my expectations. I didn't think it was gonna be this large. Glory says you love the booths here. I do too. And I'm pretty sure they're all locally owned businesses. So by purchasing items or services from these booths, you're helping supporting them too. 
you're helping to support them as well, I mean. How many rows and aisles are in this market? That's what I'd like to know. It says, we hope the market made your day. Looks like there's a directory. The Snowport. In partnership with Constant Contact. Wow, there's a lot here. So, wow. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Like 25 aisles and rows, uh, combinations. Man, that's a lot. Coco idea. Taiho says go to Newbury Street. I was there today. It's beautiful. Hiro Tiki says, so much going on. Thanks for sharing. Stay safe. Yeah, I think uh, after this live stream's over, I'm definitely going to cover the seaport districts with a dedicated video. It deserves its own video. After seeing this, I hope more people come to this market. You can easily get lost in here. How about Pet Wants Newton? My brother has a cat. Maybe I should ask him if I should pick anything up from him. Yes. Uh, for, sh for sure. <laughs> <laughs> was there mistletoe in the kiss me archway we will go and check it out Let's see. Yes, there is mistletoe under the Kiss Me um, arch here. Right here. Doesn't seem to be too popular though. Maybe they don't want to uh, make it so obvious that they're kissing. Nasa Brooks saying it looks very nice for sure. I'm definitely coming back here tonight to record it.
Right now, I think I'm going to head towards the water. And I'll wrap this live stream up. That way I have some time to come back here, get something to eat, and then make another video. It'll be my last video for today. It will be my seventh video that I record today and my last one. Charlene Wright says, nice market. I would want to check out every booth. I may um, do a extensive tour of that market and go slowly. Am I going to get a crossing signal? Rob Marai says, Hey Kenneth, glad you're exploring Boston this evening. Thank you, Rob. It's been very fun to explore Boston. Even over here, all the trees are lit up. And you can't miss this holiday market because they have the artificial tent of lights. J Free, I've been asked many times already, but I get asked to cover a lot of locations. The only way to find out is to stay subscribed. You'll know. I really like to surprise my viewers these days, and uh, the Boston trip, I think has got a lot of people surprised and enlightened about what this city can offer. Stylish Bunny saying, what are you having for dinner tonight? I think something from that holiday market, but I'll find out. Laurie says, Quincy Market was beautiful to see. This was a delightful Christmas season trip. Yes, I'm definitely going to be visiting Quincy Market again. But uh, this is where I'm going to leave you all off with a view from the seaport. I want to thank all of you for coming out today. It was a real treat to see that holiday market. It 
hit the like button, share this live stream because I know a lot of people didn't get notifications today. Yeah, the analyst was monitoring the guy from the Wolves. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Time for me to get to work again. Another video, seventh video of the day. Appreciate the support. Thank you very much.